hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time passing by welcome my name is aisha and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much so much so much for always tuning in to watch my videos as you saw from the title today we'll be creating this butterfly full locks on my gorgeous model i always say this in my tutorials it's super easy guys just trust me it's super easy so yeah if you want to know how we achieve this look keep watching please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section subscribe to the channel if you haven't and so let's get right into the video For this look, I used one and a half pack of the Darling Kinky and two packs of the Darling Passion Twist. But we didn't use all two packs though, yeah. I got she got it in this color and then in pure black. You have to fluff them out. You don't use it like straight from the box to braid. I had to pat her hair and twist it. That's the method I use. I pat the hair and then twist it before I go ahead to wrap there's actually not much I can say about pattern but just make sure your lines are straight and like are defined just make sure your lines are straight and defined so for the very bottom part I sectioned the hair into three equal parts and then I twisted the hair When you when you're braiding hair, you want at least each section to be of equal size. So you just have to be like eyeballing alongside. Just the same way I did for the previous one. First of all, I used the a bigger tooth, a bigger comb to pat it. Then I'm going with a smaller one to even define it more. So the lines can be like really visible. And for this session, I divided it into four parts, four equal parts. Then I did the same for the rest of the hair. I just like parted sessioned and then twisted all you can either twist or braid it's not compulsory to twist but because hers was natural it was easier twisting was the most is the was the easiest method option and the fastest then so I, I moved on to show you how I did the front so for the front I wanted a middle part so I first of all divided the middle I sectioned the middle down to get like sides one side falling to the left and the other side falling to the right and on each side of the part of the middle part I got three sections so in total I had six parts at the front then I went ahead to use this a cream from laurel to lay the edges or lay the front part of the hair before twisting When I was done twisting, I went ahead to wrap. Because as you've seen, I already started wrapping. I crocheted the to kinky into the hair, added it to the natural hair, hair natural hair that was a twist, and then I wrapped with the passion twist. Guys, the passion twist is soft, 
it's bouncy it's it's beautiful and then that's it contributes so much to this look because if i had used normal kinky it wouldn't have turned out this way so yeah i used the black one for like half it wasn't long enough so i used it for half of it then i continued with the green and i was alternating sometimes i start with the green then i end with the black so that's basically it so guys just watch When you have your enough desired length and you have extra hair hair left, you just um curl it upwards, you bend it upwards and then you continue to wrap but this way but in this in not in the downwards direction you continue to wrap upwards and it covers it and that's basically it. You squeeze it in between your palms or your fingers and that uh, it won't come off so this is just me repeating the steps this is basically your you repeat the steps on each and every one of the strands but guys I don't want to talk just watch and see how I was wrapping especially how I was doing the butterfly effect over my thumb I finished the rest of the back of camera and I was just showing you how it looked guys at this point I was in love it looks so pretty so I'm just going to finish up with the front so but this particular one was so nice I really liked how it turned out so I just wanted you guys to see I have two two locks left and for the for these two I'll be using the green first and then I'll follow up with the black same procedure you insert your crochet hair add it to your natural hair then you wrap with a passion twist guys are you seeing the thumb butterfly effect keep watching i i did it so quite some number of times in the video so especially the last one so just keep watching So we are the final lock now and I want to explain how to make your butterfly effect even more pronounced. When you are wrapping, you, pa you pass a little of the hair over your thumb and then wrap the other. After you wrap the others, then you push out what's on your thumb. It will just be like protruding here from the side and that's basically what will cause that butterfly effect. So if you want like the butterfly effect to be very 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 pronounced in your hair you can repeat this over the thumb method severally 
in one particular lock as many as you want as your preference you can do it every step of the way you can do it at intervals it's just your own preference And again, when you get to the tip, you just fold the hair, the remaining hair upwards and then you change your wrap direction and wrap upwards, yes, instead of downwards. this brings us to the end of the tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed this particular one i have other full lock tutorials on the channel i might link them here or you can just check through my channel to watch them i do know but the colors the the way the butterfly effect was really really showing the way the hair was so messy like i just loved i loved everything about this particular hair i hope you guys love the too please don't forget to like leave a comment in the comment section give me suggestions on video ideas like give me suggestion on videos you would want me to film and please subscribe if you haven't everything happens on this channel just take a few minutes to appreciate the hair guys appreciate it it's worth watching i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching the hundredth time bye